In her own words, Kerry Kennedy takes the stand trying to convince a jury she did not know what she was doing when she got behind the wheel while under the influence of prescription drugs. CBS News' Lou Young was in the courtroom and joins us live from White Plains. Lou. Yeah, finally, in her own words uh, today, Kerry Kennedy uh, took the stand uh, in this drug driving case about uh, 10 o'clock this morning, insisting that it was a simple but profound mistake that led to her erratic driving and accident two summers ago here in Westchester County. Under questioning by attorney Gerald Lefcourt, she talked about the sleeping drug Zolpidem, uh, also known as Ambien, that was found in her bloodstream, insisting it was an accident. Here's how the questioning began. On July 13th, 2012, did you knowingly take Zolpidem that morning? No, I did not, she said firmly. Where were you going, she was asked, to the gym, then to New York City, she answered. Did you take Zolpidem by accident, was the question. That is what I now believe, she said. Did you realize at any time that morning that you were under the influence of Zolpidem? And no, I did not, she insisted. And when asked that question later, she said, absolutely. She says, I now know, thanks to the tox lab, that I must have taken the sleeping medication by mistake. She insisted she has no recollection of the drive along 684, but does remember leaving her home, driving down the roadway, looking at the beautiful light and thinking it was a beautiful day. And then after she gets onto the ramp of the uh, interstate, nothing until she wakes up behind the wheel, by, uh, is woken up by a passerby. She said she thought she was fine and was puzzled by her car couldn't move and was shocked to find the damage. She's still on the stand upstairs being cross-examined by the assistant DA. This trial now in its third day. We're in White Plains. Lou Young. CBS 2 News. Lou, thank you.